make a little piece about co-parenting. So today I watched a little clip from The Breakfast Club, just hilarious. The comedian was on there and she was talking about the her whole co-parenting relationship. Um, apparently she has a great relationship with her son's dad. I think her son is 11 and they have their own uh, YouTube show called Co-Parenting Therapy. So basically um, her child's dad calls her sis. And, you know, they have, like, a real family, cordial relationship. Um, and people called into the Breakfast Club just to talk about their own struggles with co-parenting. And it was just interesting to hear some of the women talk about how, while they do not like their child's father, they are willing to be cordial with them. And I hear and I understand what they're saying. However, I feel as though men and women need to get comfortable with saying, yo, this individual disrespected me, betrayed me. In some cases, that individual may have disrespected the child or the children, in which case certain things are unforgettable. And certain things should not be swept under the rug just strictly based off the fact that the other person is your child's father or mother. The things that people do because of their own hurts and traumas, sometimes it causes even more trauma, you know what I'm saying, to the other individual, in which case, why should they have to be cordial? Why should they have to put their feelings aside just because that's the other child's parent? Um, people don't stop to realize and consider the impact that their behaviors have on others. And to tell an individual that they need to be cordial and they need to get along for the kid, like, I'm not saying argue in front of the kid, but I don't feel like people should be subjected to continually exposing themselves to that type of trauma, period. Like, some people are just unrealistic with the way that they view things and everyone's situation is different. Everyone is not the same. Therefore, you can't apply one fix to one situation. And there are a lot of cases, many cases, where there is no fixing to be done. The fixing is separating yourself from that person. The fixing is protecting your energy. The fixing is ensuring that you're in a healthy mental state in order to be fully present for yourself first and foremost. And then for your child, period. Like, stop trying to guilt trip and gaslight people into thinking that they have to be cordial and they have to get along with a person that nine times out of ten is not fulfilling all of their obligations as a parent anyway. And yes, there are different scenarios. There are different situations. You got some women that keep the kid away from dad or vice versa yeah 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 like I get all of that but at the end of the day parents are humans and they should not have to put themselves in uncomfortable situations just because that other person is the child's other parent like I don't believe in that um everyone has their own opinion and they're entitled to it but if you can relate or if you feel what I'm saying let me hear what you gotta say comment <music>